Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're doing well and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here and you like cop stuff, consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the body armor that I wear. Now I have two of them. I have a soft body armor that I wear every day and I also have an active shooter vest. And I'm gonna show you both of those. And I'm also gonna give you a little tip on how to wear them properly. Either you're first coming into law enforcement and you don't know how to properly wear your vest, or you're not sure there's actually a proper way to wear your vest, or you think you have an idea of wearing it properly, and you might be wrong. And maybe you have been in law enforcement for a few years, and you've been wearing your vest improper. So maybe this will help you out. So this is the vest that I wear every day when I'm working, or at home, chilling, playing video games. Just gets me in the zone. Whoa! Let's go. Let's get it. I'm just kidding. I just wear it at work, okay? And you should wear it all the time at work. I know there's some people out there who put the uniform on and some agencies don't require you to wear your ballistic vest. It's not in your policy. It says that it's an option or something like that. Uh, I say wear your vest. Wear your vest all the time. I mean, you're wearing that uniform, you're a target. All right, that's just the way the world works in police. So always wear your, your, your vest, okay? Now this is a soft vest, so it's comfortable to wear all day long. You're working 12 plus hour shifts. Uh, so you want something that's gonna be comfortable and this is a soft armor. Now that comes with a little bit of sacrifice because it is not rated to take rifle rounds. Rifle rounds are gonna cut right through this. It's just a fact of the matter. But that being said, most police involved shootings involved handguns because most people are gonna be concealing handguns more than they're gonna be concealing a rifle, all right? That's not to say it's never gonna happen, because it does happen. But this is the uh, point blank vest. Um, this has been my favorite so far in the years that I've been here. I've had three different ones. Uh, so if you're a rookie and you're just coming into the job, most likely you're gonna get a hand-me-down vest. All right, they're gonna give you one that was prior used, it's old, it's a retired one that somebody else got a new one. You're gonna get that old vest because, hey, you're the rookie, all right? And it takes could take up to five months for you to get your actual vest in. So they gotta size you, they gotta come into the apartment, meet with you, size you, then put the order in and custom order your vest to you. So that takes some time. During that time, you're gonna have to wear the hand-me-down vest. And it's kinda, it might suck. You might get lucky and get one that fits you really good, and you might get one that's gonna fit you real awkward. Like it's gonna come up to your, your neck when you sit down and so forth. So you want one that fits properly, you're just gonna have to wait, get measured, and get your proper one. You may be wondering why this one is white. Why do I have a white one? Well, if you don't know, I am a traffic officer and we wear white uniforms. So a lot of people are just gonna have black, uh, black versions of these. It's just the difference in the carrier, not the actual vest, so it makes no difference. With this soft body armor, I also carry this plate inside, right? This is also from Point Blank. So this ups the uh, durability or the protection of the vest. Uh, so this will give you a little more protection against uh, more higher impact rounds, 357 mags, uh, a slug, um, something known to stop a slug. So you think about that, you have this over your soft body armor as well to help slow down the bullet as well. So that's a little bit extra help there. I also have one in the back uh, for protection as well. Point blank makes a nice little slot in there um, so that you can just fit that extra piece in there. So now let's get to just proper fit. Like how are you supposed to wear this thing properly? Agencies will just give you these things, and here it is, this is the one you ordered, put it on, don't tell you how to properly wear it, and in my opinion, there is a proper way. So when you get your vest, you're gonna wanna prep it. All right, you wanna prep it so easy on and off. We all like things to be a lot quicker, so we're getting side zip boots and everything because we wanna be uh, quick to get on your uniform because we're rushing out of the house at the last minute to get to work. Um, they're gonna come with a couple different options for you to uh, strap your vest with. Um, there's ones that are just big like this, so one solid piece, and there's two straps. So you could put two straps here and strap it across. Some people like that for they get better uh, comfort, better uh, snug fit. This works for me. So I use these two large ones here and I prepped them by putting them on the back. So I keep them on the back. Some officers will take one side, put it on, do one side and leave it like that. That way they can just throw one over, strap it real quick and be done. But anyways, Let's get down to how you properly wear this thing. So you're gonna throw it on. So I've actually seen people do this. They'll put their vest on like this. They'll tuck this front part in under and then tuck this part over, all right? 
Now that may seem normal to you or comfortable to you, uh, but in my opinion, this is not the best way to wear your vest. If your vest, for some reason, so say if you got that rookie hand down, hand me down vest, it doesn't fit properly. The best you want to do is try to get it as close as you can together, and then strap it like that. If you can't overlap it, okay, you should overlap your vest. And when you get measured, they should measure it to overlap. So you want this front one to overlap the rear one, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and strap this side here. So I'm overlaying this side too, front over the back. All right, well, this, is, this is how you properly fit it, right? So once I do that, I take my, my rear, get these little fun tails here, and I pull those, all right? And now it's comfortable on me. Got a nice comfortable fit, got a nice cut here, and uh, you know, you got your, your shooter stance, you're able to move, all kinds of things, the YMCA, whatever you wanna do. Uh, you're good to go. Why do I recommend that you overlap your vest? If you get shot and a bullet goes on the side here, you want it to catch. Now, having it this way, the proper way, it's going to catch. Instead, if you have it like this, if you were to do it like this, and you get shot and the bullet goes on the side, it's going to catch inside here and it's going to wrap around this vest. All right, so it could wrap around and dig into your back, go into your spine, it can cause all kinds of damage. If you wear it the proper way, the bullet is more, more likely gonna stop here. All right, it's not gonna go any farther or wrap around. I actually learned about this in the academy from a deputy who came and told us a story about an incident he was involved in. He got shot several times and he used to wear his vest that way. Um, and the bullets curved around his back and tore up his back. Um, but he lived to tell the story. Um, so it was a very interesting story and I've never forgot that from that day to wear their vest properly. Nobody else showed me how to wear the vest properly. So you may be in that position. You may just got a vest thrown at you and hey, here you go, throw it on and you just wear it however you think was the right way. But maybe you've been doing it wrong this whole time. Now we also have our active shooter vest and that's this heavy son of a gun right here. All right, so this thing's like 25 pounds or something like that. I mean, you can just get a solid workout in. Uh, but anyways, this is our active shooter vest. So if we know that we are going into an active shooter situation or a high, high chance that we're gonna get into an active shooting situation, we're gonna throw this on. I have my mags here, extra magazines ready to go. So all I have to do is throw this thing on. Take it and clip it. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get into the fight. So this one, you wanna make sure that if you buy your own or your department issues you, same thing, they're not gonna show you how to properly wear it. You need to make sure that it is ready to go. And you wanna make sure that you don't get it fitted for when you're not wearing your soft carry vest. All right, because what's gonna happen is you're most likely gonna be working and you're just gonna be throwing it over your normal uniform. So I highly recommend is putting your entire uniform together and then taking this and throwing it over and measuring it that way so that you can hook it on properly. Get one side hooked in and leave it hooked in. That way you only have to throw it over and hook one side. So you're not here trying to fiddle, reach around, you got your gun belt on, trying to mess with all that stuff. You just have one side to worry about and clip it in. Make sure your shoulders are right. You want to get it nice and high and keep it all around the same. All right. And this, everything should be basically right above your belly button, just like your soft armor. And you don't want it way too high up on the neck so that you can still sit down just like your soft body armor. And it's not jumping up into your neck and you can't talk or you can't breathe. So <laughs> that's not what you want. Make sure everything is properly fitted and ready to go. Don't just throw this stuff in the back of your car, guys, and forget about it because when you need it the most, you're not gonna be ready. Oh, and also, get, pick yourself up a patch that has your blood type on it. That's also very important to let the uh, hospitals know and the medics know what blood type you are. So when you get to the hospital, they're already ready to go with the right blood type to give you the blood that you need. Uh, just in case that happens, guys, be prepared. Well guys, I hope this video was a little informative to you and helpful if you're coming into law enforcement or maybe you've been in law enforcement and you just now discovered that you've been wearing your vest wrong the whole time. Uh, if that is true, please leave a comment down below because I'm really curious. Uh, if you guys have any further questions, if I missed something, please leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. And yeah.
We'll see you guys in the next one.